What is up guys, it's your boy Alpha again. I'm here this time with uh, some footage, video stuff uh, to help out other streamers with their dual stream PC setup. Um, so this video specifically is going to be uh, how to fix screen tearing. So if you don't know what screen tearing is, uh, I'm gonna put some pictures right, right here. Yuck. Um, it basically is like a line through the screen and it happens when there's fast movements, mostly in first person shooters. Um, it doesn't matter what frames per second you're running at. You could be at 30 um, all the way. I don't know why you'd be at 30 for a first person, but 30 all the way up to 60. Um, it's a problem. So the main reason that this problem happens um, with dual stream PCs specifically is when you're playing and sending a broadcast from your game PC over to your stream PC. Um, initially, without changing anything, they're overlapping. So imagine this is your capture card and imagine this is your, your uh, actual monitor. They're overlapping and they're both being sent out to two se separate places. Um, so what I'm gonna show you guys right now is how to separate them and send them to their paths separately uh, from the source all the way to wherever they need to be. Um, so it's a little complicated, I'm going to show everything step by step. Um, and I mean, I see a lot of big streamers that still have this problem going. Um, and it's it's just not a super, super straightforward solution. So without further ado, I bring to you a solution. All right. OK, so uh, right now what I'm going to show you first is when you have a capture card and you have your monitor set up to your game PC, uh, when you go to display settings, this is what it looks like. Um, so first off to get to display settings, you're just going to right click hit display settings, uh, from the desktop. It's going to pull this screen up and it's going to show your displays. Um, now if you think about your capture card as a display and you think of your monitor as a display, because they both technically are, um, it makes it much easier to think about how this works right now. Um, I'm using a gaming monitor that's 240 Hertz and a capture card that's set at 60 Hertz, um, or 60 frames. So that causes, that's where the problem lies essentially is with this, uh, this, the duplicated displays. First, I want to show you exactly, um, what happens when you're on duplicated displays. Um, you might have the problem on your actual screen on your gameplay monitor, or you might have it on your stream, or you might have both. I had both. Um, it was worse on my stream, but I did have some on my game as well. I've also heard of people not having any, so. Um, if you are one of the unlucky people like myself that does have the problem, this is exactly why. All right, so I just got into the game. Um, good level, by the way. Missed this game or missed this, uh, missed this Call of Duty. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in here and do some really fast motions. That's mostly when it happens. Is during, uh, like, you know, fast movement. when there's a lot going on. So we're gonna try to, and these are these are all movements that you do kind of while you're playing, you know? So let's see if we can uh, review some footage here. And let's see if we captured any. Now the screen tearing is something that you won't see unless you're doing fast movements. And it's really noticeable to me because I've seen it already. Uh, but if you haven't seen it before, you probably won't notice it. But once you see it, you, you can't get out of your mind. So I had this problem for about a, a month and a half, two months on my stream. And it bothered me to no avail. I figured out a solution for it. And this is the exact solution. And it works phenomenally. So I have my desktop up, right? Um, you're going to want to download OBS Studio, not Streamlabs OBS, no variants, nothing like that. Just the original um, OBS and right now it says it's a 25.0.8 for 60 bit or 64 bit so that's like the most recent version of it um i don't even think that they update this anymore mine hasn't updated in i mean probably six months at least so you're going to want to do two things once you get obs um you're going to want to open or sorry create two scenes you're going to want a game capture screen uh, scene for your game and you're going to want a display capture for if you ever want to you know pull up youtube videos or do anything like that when you're streaming um, if you don't already do that on your stream PC, <clears throat> but sometimes you'll want to show discord or, you know, show something that's not in the game. So you don't have to make two. I would recommend making two though. 
you literally make a game capture scene, right? So you hit the, the plus button here, create the scene and hit the, the plus button here. And I'll just make another game capture source. Um, you literally keep, click game capture. Mine says game capture two now. Um, and you just hit okay. I use the exact things that are on here. I don't change anything and I hit okay. And then I have the new scene or the new source within the scene. So I'm going to go ahead and delete mine because I don't need this. Now, um, uh, same exact thing with display capture. You create the scene, create the source, and it's literally the same thing. You hit the plus sign and you hit display capture. Don't change anything. And you only need that. You don't need sound alerts. You don't need anything like that on the game PC. All you're doing is setting up to be able to send these things in their separate directions. Okay, so now that you have your OBS stuff set up on your game PC, um, I'm gonna minimize this for now. Uh, what you need to do now is uh, keep this open, go back down to the bottom, and where it says multiple displays, instead of duplicating, what you're gonna wanna do is extend. So when you extend it, um, now what you're seeing on the screen uh, is what is being sent to the capture card. I'm seeing something different on my end. So I need to turn my display capture on for you to see that. <laughs> okay, so now that we're back and you can see what's on my screen, I will show you exactly what you need to do. So the second that I changed this to extend these displays, it's gonna put both of your, this one right here is my, uh, my gaming monitor. And this one right here is my Elgato. So uh, I believe they're like this initially, um, but I just keep them separated because you don't want to lose your uh, you don't want to lose your mouse cursor into the capture card because there's it still considers it a separate monitor. You don't want to lose your mouse. I did it one time and I was like, yo, what happened to my mouse? I thought my mouse was completely detached somehow or broken. It just ended up on that on the capture card and it, it was like touching like this. So don't make that mistake because that can happen. Um, so once you've done that, uh, that whole portion of the uh, display settings is completed and you will open up your OBS and you will do this. You can either right click on display capture or game capture, whichever one you're trying to capture at that moment. You're gonna go over full screen projector and it's gonna give you an option of where you wanna send the OBS projection. So in this case, right now, um, I'm sending the display capture to my capture card. So what I'm seeing on my screen is what you guys are seeing. When I have it on game capture, um, I can have all sorts of stuff in the background on my game PC and only the game is gonna be sent to the stream. So th this is a really good tool and this is the only way that I know of uh, to keep these things completely separated. It works amazing. Um, I'll show you some more footage of gameplay right now and you'll see that there's literally no more screen tearing. Um, it's at 60 frames. It doesn't skip around. It is nice, crystal clear. Um, no no uh, boxing, if you saw in the last video or the, the previous part of this, there was like some boxing and screen tearing. There's just all sorts of problems that comes out of uh, having them duplicated. So I'll show you that footage right now. And just to be clear, uh, what I'm about to show you, I closed out the full screen projection from the display capture and I opened uh, a new full screen projection on game capture to the Elgato. So that the Elgato is my capture card. So whatever capture card you use will show up on OBS um, as one of the options because it's one of the two displays. All right, guys. Uh, so we are now in a match. What the? Okay, <laughs> we're now in a match, uh, and we'll do some quick movements here. So I'm just gonna do all sorts of crazy stuff. <clears throat> that should be good yeah um yeah so i've done 360s 180s all sorts of fast movements damn like i got just shot through two of us okay um and should be crystal clear so let's review the footage and uh we'll end this baby all right so i just reviewed the uh the footage and it looks just pristine looks so good um just like it always does and now you can do it as well um i hope this helps out guys it is something that was uh, really difficult for me to figure out i've racked my brain for months trying to figure it out and it bothered me and uh found a solution 
It is super, super easy to do. I mean, it's a little inconvenient because you got to open OBS, but it's one little thing on the game PC and your viewers will love it. Um, and it's just good peace of mind to know that you're sending out a clean, clear, uh, beautiful broadcast to the people that make your stream go around. So <clears throat> uh, if you like this type of stuff, I have other uh, how-to videos and I'll be putting more out pretty soon. Um, and also if you like me, find me on Twitch. I stream Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. I just started doing it full time and uh, I would love to see you there. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video and uh, 